Hello, everybody. <coughs> Reverend Dr. Wright here. Um, I just want to comment on the fact that Obama is pretending to be a Republican. Uh, apparently, he's copying Republican ordeal uh, ideas and um, repeating them as if they were his own. And he's basically doing this to try to win over the Republican vote and to get this going using the um, Republicans' main argument against his administration against them. Uh, and where it might seem like he's actually starting to care and agree with the people and care for the people, and where it might actually seem like he's finally beginning to um, be a little concerned and in and, and agreement that Washington is running out of control. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, you have to realize that the Republicans do go along with this, and he is granted the authority he seeks, where he can now get rid of governmental offices and uh, the, the, what was it, six uh, departments, I believe it was, that he wants to consolidate, having to do, do with the, the commerce and whatnot. And didn't exactly say what other departments he'd go after or how exactly he's going to he's going to go about doing this. He did admit, however, that it's going to cost between a thousand and two thousand jobs. And he tried saying, "Well, it's not all that bad because in a ten year span, it's going to save us three billion dollars." Now, to you and me, because you don't have that kind of money, three billion dollars. Sounds like a lot of money, but when our national debt is sixteen trillion dollars and it's growing, three billion dollars in a ten-year span really isn't anything. And basically, what Obama is trying to do with the do here is uh, less than the government, pretty much. He's trying to strengthen the government so that's the government of Obama. And that's what he's trying to do. If he's granted this authority, if people actually take this as this is actually what Obama, Obama in agreement that, that Washington is running wild, and that, that the government needs to shrink, people actually believe that that's where he's coming from with this, and he's actually in agreement with everybody, what he's going to do when he gets everybody on board with that, and they give him this, this authority, He's going to run away right with it. You can't fall for this game he's playing. You just can't fall for this game he's playing. He keeps on going on about this hope and change. That's how he got into office without specifying what the change was. He's, his new campaign has to do with that um, and he doesn't need Congress. He's been attacking Congress and trying to uh, disband Congress for a good while now. And, he, and he's saying that uh, to his people that if he gets back in office, he can promise them that we'll see the change. And he still gets to specify what that change is. Now, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out what that change is. What he's trying to do is change America. He's trying to turn into a dictatorship. His idea of shrinking government is literally shrinking government to a government of one, a government of him. He's trying to become a dictator. He's doing this the same way, the same way that Hitler did it. When Hitler took power, he took the same steps, as I uh, mentioned in a prior video, that, that Obama is taking steps now. Hitler and Obama are taking the same steps to get into power. The only thing that Obama has not done yet, um, I'm not saying he's going to do it, but he's doing, doing everything else so far, cleaning key to, to what Hitler had done, um, is that Hitler literally blew up his own parliamentary building and blamed it on uh, communist terrorists. What Obama is doing right now is trying to dismantle Congress. And so whether he actually uh, can dismantle them effectively, or something happens to Congress, or what have you, in fact, the matter is that's our terrorist attack right there on on on, on our version of the parliamentary building. His verbal attacks trying to get rid of Congress, saying they have to meet Congress, shredding our Constitution, saying that the Constitution is an invalid document. That that that, that the, the uh, founding fathers weren't had no idea what they were doing. The founding fathers didn't know what they were doing and didn't really think that that kind of government 
would, would work. Explain to me why it's worked this far. Explain to me why it's been successful, successful so far. And up until uh, recent, we were fine. And then once Obama got into office, that, that was just it. This, this, this nation went to the, yeah, you can finish that statement yourself. So please don't, don't fall for this rhetoric that he's actually trying to uh, show that he cares about America and he cares about the people and, he's, and, and, he's, and understanding that, that uh, the government is running wild and the guy that's bringing the government back down because it's too big and too powerful. He doesn't care about any of that stuff. He doesn't care about the people. He doesn't care about anything but his own, his own self. He doesn't care about anything but his own power. He only wants to shrink down the government to get rid of the, of the uh, bureaucracy and um, all the checks and balances that are in play. Now he feels, now he flat out said in himself, in his own words, out of his own mouth, that it is restricting him from doing what he wants to do. <coughs> that is why he doesn't want the Constitution. That's why he doesn't want Congress. And that's why he wants this new, this, this, these new uh, policies put in place. So that he has no checks and balances in his way, no roadblocks in his way, can, none, none of these different uh, establishments in, in, in set in place, and that's going to match him up. He wants full, full on control. And that is exactly what he's trying to do. He is using the Republicans' main argument about government being too big against the Republicans to try to look like he's finally in agreement with us and to get everybody on board with him and get him support. All this is is, is, a, is a, a, a run for the votes. He is trying to steal all the votes away from the Republicans and he's trying to look like, make it look like not just his people, but to now with the Republicans and the conservatives that he actually cares and he's trying to do something right. <clears throat> he isn't trying to do anything right, he doesn't care. All of his run for the votes. I'm telling you, if people go along with, 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 with what he's saying and actually believes that he, that he actually cares about America, can he actually is in agreement that <clears throat> government is too big and means they shrink government, <clears throat> all bets are off. He's going to start with the, the consolidation from the different commerce departments that he, that he was in. There's uh, probably six departments he's going to consolidate into one. And he's not mentioning what the rest of his plan is for the sole fact. Now, what he's going to do when he gets his authority, he can't consolidate from these six departments into one department, is he's going to start off small and work his way up, seeing what he can effectively can get away with without meeting too much um, resistance. And if he doesn't get met with any resistance starting now, as in we cannot allow him to have this additional authority, the, the authority he's looking for is not constitutional authority. It's not what the authority that was given to the president. That there's a reason why there was checks and balances put in place. And he needs to understand that. All the people of this country need to understand that there are certain checks and balances that are put in place to avoid a dictatorship and to avoid tyrannical rule and to avoid oppression of the people that we are now beginning to see uh, constructed right, ar right around us and, and, and the majority of the people are turning a blind eye to it. <coughs> he is trying to become a dictator of this great nation. And we cannot allow this to happen. And if he, if he gets his authority Claiming he's not met any resistance as he's consolidating departments, claiming getting rid of, getting rid of other departments. What's going to wind up happening is he's going to attempt to get rid of Congress. When he attempts to get rid of Congress, now that he has the legal authority to do so, that is it. Now there's no more checks and balances in the way. So yes, he effectively shrunk government so much that he has now effectively become a dictator there is no checks and balances. There is no freedoms left to the people whatsoever. The Constitution is completely shred. And, and guess what? There's no more elections. He is now effectively the, 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 the dictator of America. He has effectively shred the Constitution and stripped us of all of our freedoms. And right now, our freedoms are hanging on by a, a, a thread. Our Constitution is hanging on by a mere thread. We cannot allow this to continue going any further. We need to stop it now. 
Now, I'm not going to say which Republican candidate I, I'm going to vote for just yet because I'm, my man dropped out of the race, so I got to take a keep on taking some close looks. All I will say is that um, I believe Perry dropped out also, but I'm not for, I'm my own group with Perry. I'm not too big a fan of Gingrich. Uh, as far as Ron Paul and Rick Santorum goes, I'm probably leaning more towards Rick Santorum. But either way, no matter who the Republican candidate is like that that, that winds up running against Obama, we that's who we gotta put who we gotta go behind. We need to get Obama out of office. We need the lesser of two evils. <clears throat> and we, we this this needs to come to a stop. We are looking at this this year right here, the year twenty twelve, could wind up being the very last year that America is looked at as a free nation. If Obama gets back in office, I can guarantee you that what we saw through all these past three years so far, what we're probably going to see this year, isn't anything like what we're going to see if he gets in his second term. You think our freedoms are stripped now? You think we're hanging by a thread now? <coughs> Just wait. <coughs> we need to get him out of office. Do not fall for Obama's Republican Act. He's only trying to suggest that he's that he's in agreement with the Republicans, and, that he, and he's only trying to use Republicans' main argument against him just to try to win us over. And that's all he's trying to do. And that's all he's trying to do. Mark my words. That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to win us over. He's trying to get the Republicans and the conservatives to to vote for him because now it looks like it now it appears as if <clears throat> he's actually going to fight for the very thing that we want. And it, he's making it appear as though he actually cares about the American people and that the, the American government is too big and, gone, and spinning out of control. He doesn't care about any of that. Right now, all he cares about is that the way the government is set up right now with all these different departments and bureaucracy that's going on, is it's stopping him from doing what he wants to do. As it should. Not that we need all these extra additional departments that, in order for you to, for, to, to do this, you need to come to this department, you've got to go to that department. No, we, we simply, what, we, what we do need is our checks and balances. We do need to have certain things in place. And if he gets this additional authority granted to him, or better off, it's going to start off with the, with the different departments being consolidated. You know, I'm telling you, it's going to keep on working his weapon. He's going to keep on going and going and going, climbing his way up to get rid of all of our, all of the checks and balances and to completely terminate our constitution and our freedoms. We cannot allow that to happen. Anybody that's watching my videos right now, that's watching this, that wants to tell me that I'm, that I'm crazy, I don't know what I'm talking about, open the newspaper, turn on the news channel, go, go to, um, what's his name? Tattoo uh, 1009 on uh, a YouTube channel. I'm subscribed to him. Just go to my subscriptions and go around to his. Uh, it's for the YouTube channels that I'm subscribed to. Uh, go watch their videos. <coughs> watch a couple of Alice Jones' videos. I mean, just, all you got to do is open your eyes and take a look at what's happening in the world. I mean, he, uh, he's not doing anything to help, to help us whatsoever. So if you're an Obama supporter, I feel really bad for you because what you're doing is you're literally allowing him to, to take your freedoms away. That's all you're doing. You are literally signing yourself over to be enslaved by, the, by this administration. And I feel really bad for you if you're an Obama supporter. I, I really do. You've got to wake up. Everybody else out there that's, that, that has been reading my articles on my website uh, and watching my videos, you have a good clue as to where, where I feel and where I'm coming from, but you all would also know that everything I said so that everything I've said so far that that was um, a, a, a prediction that was going to happen so far down the road has happened. You would also be aware that almost everything that I get a, uh, that I write an article about or do a video on, being with the concern that if this happens, this is going to happen. That every single time, what happens? This happens, and then this happens. So, well, I'm telling you, mark my words. If Obama is granted his additional authority, and if the people actually fall for 
this new game he's playing, we are going to lose our freedoms. We are going to lose the Constitution. He is going to get voted back in and we are done. America is finished. We cannot allow that to happen. I'm telling you, we cannot allow that to happen. If you have any bit of you that feels you are an American, you have to get this man out of office. Don't fall for his games. He's getting desperate. He is running scared. He knows that between a couple of these Republican candidates right now, that if one of them get, goes against him, there's a high chance he's going to be out of office. And he is scared. He is literally running scared. And, and then there's the fact that, that there's more and more and more and more Americans waking up on a daily basis for what's really going on in this world and, what, and what's really happening to this country under his administration. <clears throat> and it doesn't take that long for these additional people that are waking up <clears throat> to sit there and, 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 and take everything in and through their pure anger <clears throat> and, and, and feeling hurt, they, they now start, they don't, they're not just speaking out, they're screaming out, like I keep on telling people to do. And <clears throat> Obama is watching everything he had planned literally falling down like right in front of his face. <laughs> his system is crashing. His support is dwindling. It is, it is literally gotten so bad where he actually has to copycat the Republican uh, ideas and Republican concerns to try to steal Republican votes. That's how bad his support is right now. He is literally running scared. So let's keep him running scared. Let's get, let's get so bad to the point where. where he literally puts his tail between his legs and crashes out the out the, out, out the White House. So we can put somebody else in the office in the office that can actually fix this country. So far, with the damage that's been done so far, it's going to be a slow fix, but it can be done. We do have a little bit of our constitution and a little bit of our, of our freedoms intact, where we, where we can resuscitate it and breathe life back into the constitution and regain full-heartedly, 100% of our freedoms back. But if we fall for Obama's games, it is not going to happen. We cannot allow Obama to steal the vote away from the Republicans. We cannot allow our fellow Republicans and conservatives to fall for this line of stuff. And we got to continue trying to wake up these liberals. So look, please, let's not fall for his games. Let's not fall for this nonsense. I must realize that when he's talking about shrinking the government, he wants to shrink the government so that the only piece of government left is him. Man, which can make him a full on dictator, and which means that it, he's, America is done. No more constitution, no more freedoms. We have officially been taken over and enslaved by a, by a dictator for the first time in American history. Let's not allow this to happen. <coughs> so, please. Link up to my video, can copy my video uh, on your own YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching on my Vimeo channel, download it and, and, and republish it yourself. Uh, post it to all your social networks. Just get this video out there and urge all of your friends to watch this. And get this message out there. We need to make sure that none of our uh, Republican and conservative uh, fellow American patriots actually fall for this stunt that Obama's trying to pull over over on us. We gotta make sure that everybody who's awake stays awake and doesn't accidentally trip and fall back to sleep. <coughs> it's a very serious game that's being played right now. And he's trying to play us for for a fool. So far, he he he's pretty probably laughing when he's by himself in the White House because he managed to two us for a fool. As it is what happened with his birth certificate? What, what happened with, with clarifying whether or not he was he was uh, an act, he's an actual um, American citizen and he, where he where he is in that office legally? If if all that was done legally, so where he can actually prove it legally, so then uh, who was it? Jeff Ar Sheriff Arpaio? Is that his, his how you pronounce his name? Wouldn't have to be 
doing this full investigation to the point where right now, because you're near the close of the investigation, perhaps you're receiving threats from the Obama administration. And there's a lot of truth out there that he does not want people to wake up to. And probably left him or not because he did manage to pull, to pull one over on us, pull past one. He got into office illegally. Nobody heard of him before. He doesn't have a decent track record at all. And everybody knows the truth and everybody's trying to verify the truth on him. So let's keep it going that way. Let's, let's, let's keep remember that he, that he pulled the fast one over the American people. And let's remember that we kept on telling ourselves that, that we're not going to make the same mistake in 2012. Well, now that it's 2012, and before you know it, it's going to be election day, let's keep to that. You know, we're not going to make the same mistake that, that, that we made back in 08. Let's keep, let's keep telling ourselves now that we're not going to fall for the same lies and deception that we fell for back in 2008. Even if you did vote for Obama back in 2008, this is your chance to wake up to the, to the lies and the deception and vote against them to put a true American in office. So please, let's keep the truth going, let's keep the truth spreading, let's keep our minds, screw, our minds screwed on straight. Let's stay focused. Let's stay conservative. To let's win this. We were not given these different checks and balances and, and, and the different authorities to the people and to the individual states to to us via the Constitution just so that we can allow somebody to come in can, and literally take over the country. And that's exactly what was, what's going on right here right now. And if you want a better idea from where all this could possibly be leading to, look up Hitler, how he came to power, step by step by step, and compare that to what Obama has been doing over the past three years. Right up until the point where he's at now. Step by step by step. It is exactly the same. So if you take, so if you match Obama's administration to, the, to, to Hitler's regime, and you compare them step by step, uh, you can actually see where, where Obama was going to try to pull next, and every and each step that he that he takes successfully, you can see looking at Hitler what step he's going to take next. So let's stop this nonsense now. Let's stop this train right in its tracks, and let's bring America back to the greatness that she once was. Let's resuscitate life back into the Constitution. Let's bring life back. To, to our freedoms, and let's gain our freedoms back, let's gain our, let's reestablish this constitution and piece it back together again, and let's take our country back. We cannot throw out any of the other Republicans or conservatives out there to fall for Obama's game right now of trying to pretend like he's a Republican, trying, trying, trying to, to use the Republican uh, argument against them, against, against the Republicans. We cannot allow this to happen. We just cannot allow this to happen. Do you understand me? We can't allow this to happen. <clears throat> we need to make sure that not only do we stay focused, but each and every Republican, each and every conservative out there stays focused. <clears throat> we can't fall for this. We need to stay focused. We need to stay focused on America, on American values, on our freedoms, on the Constitution, on the duties that Constitution gave us to uphold and protect that Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. We need to keep a hold on America. It is literally now or never. If this goes any further, America is dead. We need to stop this now. We cannot allow Obama to gain additional authority. We cannot fall for his games. He is trying ever so hard to come up with better and better lies and deception. We cannot allow it to work. He is pretending. He is faking it. He is not a true Republican. He does not truly care about us. He does not truly care about the Constitution. As he's been saying for months and months, he's trying to get rid of Congress. He wants to go around Congress. If he is granted this authority, and people start showing him support for the lies that he's spewing out of his mouth right now about 
pretending to be in agreement about the state of the government running out of control, he is going to have the authority to finally to do what he wants to do. Step by step, he is going to dismantle the government entirely. And so the only piece of government that's left is him. As he shrinks down government, and as he closes down and consolidates his other government departments, what you are going to see is his department, his, his office is going to rise. Right now, everything's level, like it's supposed to be. Now, as he starts shutting down departments, he's going to go up. He starts consolidating everything, he's going to go up. So he's not really shrinking government. All he's doing is he's moving everything into him. This way, he's the only authority. This way, there is no checks and balances getting in his way. And once he has wrapped enough authority, he is going to dismantle Congress. We cannot allow this to happen. We need to, we need to realize that this, that this is exactly where this is going. We need to realize that all of our paranoid thoughts of where it's going with this has so far been correct. It has gone that way, and it's going to continue going that way until we put a stop to it. So it's not for first games, and come election day, let's vote him out. We need to put somebody in office, even if the best candidate doesn't wind up becoming the one that's going to run against Obama, the Republican candidate is still going to want to be in the muscle of two evils. That I can guarantee you. We need to focus on keeping our fellow conservatives and Republicans awake and, and, and focused. We need to work on pushing everybody to get a vote towards the Republicans. We need to get the Democrats out of office, particularly Obama. Come election day, we need to vote Republican, 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 Republican. Let's serve two evils. Republican. Do not fall for the lies and the deceit that is coming out of his mouth. Don't fall for these new games that he's playing. Please. Just don't. This is a very serious situation we are facing right now. We cannot allow this to go any further than it has already gotten. We need to stop this. We need to send a message that we, that we, that we see where he's going. And no, can the authority stop there? Can you, as it is, Obama, you already have far more authority than what was given to you via the Constitution. And far too much authority that was supposed to be dictated to Congress and the individual states has been stripped and given to the judicial branch. It stops now. <clears throat> that is the message that we all need to stay focused on and we need to send to Obama. <clears throat> we need him to realize that he's done. He is running scared. Like I said, when he, he is running scared. The fact that he needs to try to win over the Republicans just shows how low in support he, he is and he realizes <clears throat> that he could wind up losing this. Right now, he's actually, uh, uh, whether it was him personally or his administration that came out and said it, I believe he specifically said it again about, about Romney, but the two candidates <coughs> that have been stated that he's actually running scared of right now is Rick Santorum and Mitt Romney. If one of them two Get get the candidacy against Obama. He has no clue how he's gonna how he's gonna defeat them. He has no plan for any action on on defeating them, which is good. He is running scared. Let's keep him running scared. Let's not be the fools that the Democrats were back in the We need to to take a stance. It is time to finally stand up as a nation and when we all agree that we can't have 
another four years of this, and we already agreed that back in the way he got in through lies and an alleged plan that nobody asked him what it was, that we're not going to do it again. And even if somebody asks him, well, what's this change that you're promising us if you get a second term? And he says, well, we, that we'll find out when we get there. He can't tell us now. Okay, fine, you can tell you asked him, but is that really an acceptable answer? <coughs> it's not an acceptable answer to me, so why should it be an acceptable answer to you? So let's do the right thing. Let's stay focused. And let's not be the fools the Democrats were back in 2008. We said that we're not going to fall for the lies. Please let's not fall for the lies. We said we're not going to vote anybody into office, regardless of what that office is, unless they can actually explain to us where they're coming from and what their plans are. So let's stand by that. He can't explain what this change is. He can't explain where his plan of action he has is going. He can't seem to explain away where all these, these additional jobs are coming from, especially when he's admitting that that a couple of plans he's trying to put in play now is going to keep on costing jobs. Let, let, let's not do this again. We said we weren't going to, so let's not do this again. Let's make sure this is a one-term presidency. Before you know it, election day is going to be election day is going to be here. Let's do the right thing and vote Republican. You vote Democrat. You vote him back in office. You sign a death warrant for America. That's all I gotta say about that. And I'm not scared of who's gonna hear that. Who's gonna say that? I'm well aware of what's going on. If you've been watching my videos and reading my articles up on the websites, uh, spiritualmassageministries.org, spiritualmassageministries.com, and reverenddrred.com, you are well aware where I'm coming from. I refuse to play in to this fictional authority by keeping myself quiet, because if by keeping ourselves quiet, that's what's giving them the authority over us. <coughs> I have the constitutional right <coughs> to say everything that I'm saying in this video, in all my prior videos, and all the future videos, and everything I've been saying on my website. Because I have the constitutional right for that. <coughs> and it's because some bill got passed that's stripping those rights or in the least putting those rights on a rather tight leash does not mean that I'm going to abide by that. The laws that I'm going to abide by are the laws of the land. The laws of the land is the United States Constitution. Those are the laws that we should be abiding by so continue speaking up, continue speaking out if you if you're doing so. If you haven't been speaking up yet, start speaking up and speaking out. Or at least in the least, if you don't want to do it yourself because you're too nervous, you're too scared to to, to actually stand up for your for your people and for your country, then the least you can do is share my videos. <coughs> Link to my videos, copy my videos to your own um, channels, and tell everybody to go to spiritualmassageministries.org, spiritualmassageministries.com, reverend.thered.com, and can pay attention to everything that myself and my and the ministry is, is is saying, because the truth needs to be heard. The truth needs to be heard. That's just the way it is. And the fact of the matter is, right now the truth lies with the conservatives because, as you all know, liberals are a bunch of liars. 
I got more words for them, but I'm not going to go there right now. They're a bunch of liars. That's how they got into office, and then that's how they're going to be when they leave office. A bunch of liars. <coughs> Let's get these liars, all of them, out of office, and let not fall for bombers' lies. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't care about big government. He's trying to pretend. That's all he's doing. It's, he's pretending. He's acting. That's all he's doing. So please, do, do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Can do your kids a favor and your kids' kids a favor, etc. and so on. And keep your head on straight. Pass this video around if you don't want to speak the message yourself. And let's try to make sure all, all of us that are awake to what's going on remain awake and, and keep our heads screwed on straight. And keep playing the fight to help wake up other people to what's going on. No matter how much you want to believe Obama, no matter how honest in my with my look and no matter how much you want to believe it you, you know you can't you know it's all lies you know it in the back of your head you know it's all lies so don't fall for it don't fall for it you know literally from watching the campaign from 2008 happening all over again only now he's being a little bit more blunt about what he's trying to do because he literally said he wants to abolish Congress. If he abolishes Congress, if he actually can get the authority to go up to surpass Congress, what do we have, folks? What do we have? If you remove Congress and all you have left is the president, he's no longer president. He's now dictator. He's now the king, supreme ruler. And that's not America. That's not what the Constitution dictates. There's no more checks and balances. The Constitution is a bunch of checks and balances to make sure we don't wind up, wind up under the, the, the oppression of tyrannical rule. <laughs> so he's actually telling us in his own way where he's going with all of this. In a roundabout way, by saying that he wants to go around Congress, he's admitting he wants to become a dictator. We cannot allow that to happen. It's simple, folks. This is the last chance. This is our last chance to hold on to America. If you fall for Obama's lies, and if you allow him to get back in office in 2012, uh, well, 2013, but elections this year, uh, if you vote him back in, for another term, he's just not going to be another four years. It's going to be life. It is going to be life. If you don't want to spend the rest of your life under tyrannical oppression, vote Republican. Don't fall for the lies that are being spewed out of the mouth of Obama and his administration. This is our last chance to save America. The closer election day comes, the more lies are going to come out of the mouth. And the harder he's going to try to win over enough support to get elected in. We cannot allow that to happen. If that happens, America is officially dead. And it's not going to be that's another four years, it's going to be life. <clears throat> so please, as I said, pass this video around, get the message out to others, and don't let anybody that you know, fall for this. Make sure everybody that's in your circle 
keeps the head screwed on straight and maintains the ability to see through the lies so we can actually have a chance of saving America. He's running scared. Let's keep it that way. And come election day, when I saw him, he had a reason to be scared. Because the people just voted him out. We saw it through his games. We saw it through the lies. And now he's gone. It's going to be a blink of an eye, folks, and election day's here. Keep your heads, see through the games, see past the laws, and let's get a true American in that office, and let's save America. Until next time, God bless.